Ah, there we go. Had to change that. It was a one instead of a two. For some reason, this is my the monitor that the recording is now on is my primary monitor. However, it seems to show up as a sec as number two, not number one. I don't know if it's. It's even got the DVI ports and anything. I think it's just a graphics card. It takes it prioritizes HDMI over DVI for some reason. Except when I try to switch the cords, it fucks up. It's really weird. So we'll leave it at 30. I want to see what this looks like. And if it looks too crappy, I'll go back to letterbox. Fancy aliasing. Don't really need that, do I? Shadow quality fine. Motion blur enabled. SSAO. I really don't know what what works and what doesn't. Yes. Hopefully there's no third party music. I don't think there is. Graphic content? Of course! Show subtitles. Show, 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 show. Enemy alertness. Survival. Oh. never needed it. Target reticle. Yeah. Alright, let's get started. The mouse is really uh, like laggy, it's like it's like a couple of s a couple milliseconds delay before the mouse moves compared to the Alright, we want mark in the center is fairly visible. Let's go for a Fifty will do. Oh. For the weak and fearful. <laughs> Auto aiming enabled by default and slightly more ammo than normal. Challenge and overcome your fears. Standard of course. I mean it can be lowered in the end. I played on survival the first time through. Absolute rage fest. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, welcome guys, this is a, uh, a BTS run on The Evil Within. Uh, I probably cut out a lot of the start stuff, so I'll just put an intro in here. All so units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Sorry detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're going to have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? The call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. 131, please advise. Maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph. You think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with each other in the sun of the memorial. Is there any... Uh -uh. God damn it! Jesus! What? <laughs> Don't crash it now. Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe we'll just die a horrible death. What do you make of it? Connolly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. <clears throat> That's interesting. 
I wonder what the uh, the HUD's gonna look like there. Anyway, as I said, I've played this before. This is my second one. Must be my second playthrough. I'm going to do it, and I'm gonna follow her. I'm going to do this as a BTS, like I've been doing with Final Fantasy and Evil and uh, Dead by Daylight. So all unedited. Won't be any cuts apart from maybe if I take a long okay? Seek, Rain is gonna wash away any evidence. So yeah. This will probably be as unedited as I can make it. I'll probably split it into parts based on the chapters, since there's like multiple chapters. I'll just split it up every chapter. Whether or not I do it all in one session or probably not in one session, because this game is gonna be my gap filler when I'm not playing Dead by Daylight. Until I run out of game time, I guess. So yeah, that's the main that's the main explanation. I have also got um, yeah, you'll probably see the, the game cut out a couple of times. I have a walk through for collectibles and stuff. I don't really care about optional stuff, just like the keys. The keys that you get later on, and will let you get extra ammo and shit. But I'm gonna play through the game, fully, on this difficulty. Hopefully not rage too much. If a section smells like uh, blood. Nah, never mind. All right, stay sharp. So yeah, I'm gonna do this as. Uh, We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. But yeah. Gory as fuck. So yeah, very unedited. Did you hear something? You're probably gonna hear. You're probably gonna <laughs> experience all of the agonizing rage and death that I experienced throughout this game. Someone alive in here. So yeah. Anyway, explanations out of the way. Let's get into it. Are you injured? What happened here? <laughs> Can't be real. Doctor, Impossible. I forgot his name. Rubik. I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Maybe. Let's go see how Mr. Assassin's doing. This is like, I played it the first time with the uh, the borders. You know, the borders that you get across the top and the bottom. That happened the first time around, but it seems since then there's been an update. Up oh, dead. Up oh, dead. Up oh, dead. What the hell? I still don't know what the HUD's gonna look like. Because this was designed for the uh the letterboxing. It was designed based on the letterboxing. Hello rat. Don't mind me, just hanging a boot. Just hanging out. <laughs> about that. Now smooth. Okay, camera. That is really, uh... Someone's dying. I hear lots of, uh, blood and guts falling to the ground next to me. It doesn't sound pleasant. Oh, it's okay. He just gutted someone. Face repeatedly. This is like Dead by Daylight. Spam that 
space key to struggle. And uh, so nice. Let's see if I can get out of this section without dying. For once, I remember dying a shit ton of times when I played this. Looks pretty uh, alright with the screen effects. Yeah, it seems to have been. Seems to be fine tuned based on the removing of the letterbox. Ordinary keys, that's fantastic. How can we get the brack out of here? Commenceth. So loud. Why are you so loud, Dor? And a slow paced walk up the stairs. Checkpoint. I like checkpoints. Oh, he's gone. Where did he go? Oh, look at all the chainsaws. Holy shit, that's a lot of chainsaws. Oh, check the alarm. Shit. Oh, shit. Run, mother trucker! Ow, bastard. That wouldn't be overly sterile for the wound. And into the blood. <laughs> That's just foul. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh, get me out. Oh, get me out, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Out. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, not pretty. I bet that was doing wonders for the wound. Ah, oh, didn't I see some stairs? I know this is the way out over here. I thought I saw something over there. It's so dark. It's so dark. I don't know what 60 frames actually looks like. But I don't want to do it in case it screws up my... my recording. And now we go into the murky ass water. Oh, that wound's going to be super infected. Ugh. Disgusting. So there's a document over here somewhere, and a ladder that goes up to another document. Where's the exit? Here's the document. Old note from the sewer. for this because it's only the prologue. All the juicy stuff starts after chapter two. Is 
So yeah, the parts will be listed based on how long it takes me to get through each chapter. Since I know what I'm doing a little bit, it should be a bit easy. I mean, it's been a while since I've played this, but... Stem operation, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can scroll the, uh, the browser. With the scroll wheel. That's cool. Hopefully it doesn't click anything inside the game. I say this looks a lot nicer without the letterboxing. It really does. Anything over here? The main thing I want to do in this playthrough is make sure I get as many keys as possible, so that's why I'm trying to get all of the keys. Fuck, 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 fuck. In here. I think I can just press control. Yeah. Fucking hell, calm down, mate! <laughs> Actually, I might split up the recording based on the chapters, so at the end of each chapter, I'll restart the recording so the files aren't as big and I can clearly navigate each chapter. I'll be able to tell that each one's a chapter. That's what I'll do. That's a smart idea. Yeah, chill out. Stop freaking out over there. I can't hear you. Yes. Holy shit. Alright, see ya. <laughs> okay, bye. Have fun. Oh, this bit. This bit. goes as far as the doorway so you have to back here. There he goes. Oh, yeah. oh no, there he goes. Now he now should go out the right door. We sneak in back here. He's gonna go out there anyway. he'd seen me. I just had the chainsaw revving up. I'm like, oh shit! Okay, okay. Right. We should be safe until the big chase. Whoa! I still got it. Now we run. Now we run. Now we fucking run. Oh, don't do that, you dickhead! Get up! Get up! Get into the elevator! Get up! Oh, shit! Woo! Yeah, good. No, yeah, not gonna work.
Not as satisfying as Outlast's escape from the scissor, uh, from the dude that cuts your fingers off. Oh, that was satisfying. I remember uploading that series of uh, Outlast and then had to delete it because back then I used to use third party music, which is a big no no. Find myself within. Darkness twisting me. I might have to skip this. There is nothing I can do. This may get skipped because it sounds like third party music. I can always upload this segment to YouTube and see what happens. And around the night jokes tied in the noose. The evil within. The evil within. Within. Ding. <laughs> And now we're perfectly fine. See? No cuts anymore. It's as if it was all a dream. We got the shit here that... Oh, do! Okay, we can run now. Holy shit, he's fast! Out the job. I'll leave the cutscenes in for anyone who watches this that hasn't experienced the evil within yet. But if you haven't experienced the evil within it for yourself, and you like these sort of games, like Resident Evil style, I highly recommend it. It's just one of those experiences that. You have to see for yourself to be able to really get the feeling of it. Fortunately, Rob is unable to because of his computer. But he'll have this to watch anyway. Minus my base camp. Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I'd waited, but. Uh... Please, settle down, Leslie. 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 Shit! There's no going back. Oh, that'd just be freaky. Whoa! Yeah, definitely freaky. Glad I'm not the driver of that ambulance. And down comes the crane. Brutal. That would be... I would shit myself <laughs> if I had to be the witness of that in that car. Like, it's literally an inch away from just squishing them. Just crushing the entire vehicle. It's crazy. We made it. Probably. Everyone must be dead. Interesting assumption. Everyone all right back there? Oh, they're just zombies. Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. Uh-oh. Fine. 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 
fine. start the recording after I've made myself some pizza. So, see you guys soon.